Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to bring you guys along. It is Friday evening after work and I have two stores that I wanna go ahead and purchase coupons at. I mean, not coupons. I wanna go ahead and use my coupons at. I'm at Walgreens right now. I only have two items that I wanna get at Walgreens. I wanna get another detergent and I wanna get another toilet tissue. So hopefully they are not sold out. And then Kroger is having their Friday, Saturday sale. So I need to hop in there and pick up a few items. I'm only giving myself, you guys, $20. $20 for both stores. Um, so I can only spend 20 between both of the stores and I have a list of items that I want to get. So let's get into it, you guys. All right, guys. So the Purex is on sale for $1.99 and I have a dollar off coupon. So that'll make it 99 cents. All right, guys. And then their Scott paper towels are on sale for $5 and then it's $1.25 off coupon, which makes them $3.75. All right, guys, sorry for the lighting, but I went to Walgreens. I bought two items. They were out of the Colgate that's on sale for 99 cents right now, and then I had a 50 cents off coupon um, or like 75 cents off coupon, something like that. So I just went ahead. I got the two items you saw, and I spent $4.05. Now I am at um, Kroger to get the list of items that I want, and yeah. So I have quite a bit of a list at Kroger. I want to get toilet paper because I went ahead and got paper towels at Walgreens, the Scots, because they were out of the toilet paper. So hopefully they have toilet paper here at Kroger because they're both on sale at both stores. So I'm gonna go ahead and get toilet paper here. I wanna also get some Prego. I want to get, um, I have a free Friday download, which is a, like a, starburst yogurt i don't know but it's free so i'll try it um what else cereal i wanted to get and i think that's it but i will show you guys when we get into the store the things that i get mind you guys i gave myself the budget of 20 dollars total at both stores i've only spent four dollars and five cents so let's get into kroger and see what i can get all right guys sorry about that somebody was asking me questions while i was in the aisle picking out cereal so i just showed the clip of me getting the cereal and also the crest toothpaste so the cereal is 149 with the digital coupon friday and saturday limit of five so i went ahead and picked up five boxes and then the crest toothpaste which i showed a clip of me getting um sorry is 79 cents with a uh, coupon um, today and tomorrow only. So now I'm on the way to get Scott's paper towels. Hopefully they have the toilet paper, you guys. Fingers crossed. And I also still need to get the Prego. And the other thing on the list that I forgot was their Stay Free Women's products. I'm going to pick up one of those and I will head to the checkout line. As you can see, the shelves are bare, but I did find a Prego tomato basil on sale for $1.99. I have an additional dollar off coupon, so that will make them 99 cents. I'm gonna grab one of those, and then I guess I have to settle for, I don't know, this three cheese right here, you guys. Up finding some over here so I'm gonna get two of the rustic garlic and last one but they're $3.99 and then with the coupon for Friday and Saturday it should bring up to be $3.49 for these Scott's double uh, tissues now I just need to go get my stay free product and I will be headed to the right this is the last item that I am getting is the stay freeze and I am getting just a regular pack um, and they are on sale for $2.99 and then with the digital coupon they are $1.99 so I'm just picking up a pack of these. Guys, hopefully you can see me. But I just, between the two stores, spent $20.22. I honestly, when I got to the register, put two of the cereals back because I really wanted to stick to the $20 budget. 
So with all the discounts, all the coupons, I ended up spending $16.17 at Kroger and $4.05 at Walgreens. So I did go over by $0.22, cents, but that's not bad. And I am having to learn to tell myself that it's okay to put something back. It's not because I couldn't do it. It's just because I do want to kind of have that discipline. Sorry, guys, the lighting, the sun is setting and all of that. And I have to go get the kids. But I want to kind of really get that discipline and that control with couponing because I know previously I would just go to shop because, hey, I had coupons and that's not really saving money in the long run. So I just want to make sure if I set a budget that I'm going to use that I stick to it. And so for today and this weekend's uh, couponing, I only wanted to spend $20. So I spent $20.22, but I am headed to get the kids. When I get home, I will show you guys everything. All right, guys, so I'm back home. Let me show you guys what I got. So these two items are the ones I got from Walgreens. I got the Scotts paper towels, and I also got some Purex. This is the 19 count. These were 99 cents. This was $3.75, I believe. Then at Kroger, I went ahead and got the Scotts tissue paper. I got two of the Pregos. They were 99 cents each, and then when you bought two, I bought it, gave you 75 cents back. So I went ahead and already scanned my receipt for that. These are the Stay Free, uh, let's see, regular pads. I went ahead and bought one of those. Got the Crest right here for 75 cents or 79 cents. And then I got the Fruit Loops, the Apple Jacks, and the Kellogg's Corn Pops. So yes, you guys, that is everything that I bought. I spent $20.22. I'm trying to slowly build back up my stockpile. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed bringing you guys along. It helped me hold myself accountable. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you to all my subscribers, you guys, for all of your support. Y'all really help encourage me to stay on track with my budget. And I hope that you're enjoying the videos as well. I will see you guys next time.